one of the things that should be on the top of everybody's list on climate change should be trying to uh, develop all of the energy that you can from geothermal. I was born and raised over in Saskatchewan as a farm boy and at that time Western Canada had a one industry that was agriculture. When the Leduc number no. one discovery was made, the oil was discovered in the Devonian formation, we all of a sudden had two industries, agriculture and oil and gas, now we're saying energy. In 1949, uh, joined the uh, drilling rigs and I spent 37 years with an oil company. For me it developed an entire career just like a whole bunch of other people that had come to the industry. About 10 years ago one of the companies drilled a well quite close to the Leduc No. 1 Injury Discovery Center and I had the idea, this wild idea about maybe someday trying to use this well for geothermal. So we're on the way to see the future, hopefully, geothermal pilot project. It's ready to be reconverted over from a water injection well to geothermal. Going down, picking up the heat, bringing it up and bringing it back. Building the bridge from fossil fuels to uh, alternate energy, it's a big jump and I'm sure it'll take a hundred years, but I think in the meantime we should be looking at wind and solar and I believe that we have a lot of heat in this earth and we've got to start learning how we can use that heat for our benefit. We think there's probably a lot of producing wells close to towns and villages that could be converted then to geothermal and you wouldn't have the cost of re-drilling the well or uh, recuperating it from uh, being abandoned. See, I'm one of those people that, although I'm 84 years old, I try to think of the future of this world. And mind you, I always go back to Mother Nature. While you're drilling in the field, you better keep in mind Mother Nature controls this earth.